Jack Dowd is a connoisseur of American types, the boisterous, eccentric, innocently hilarious individuals who rarely become the subject of art. Dowd celebrates America's idiosyncratic extended family in his ongoing series of full-size figures with affectionate humor and satiric wit. I'm Jack Dowd, and I consider myself a visual artist, of course, for the past 50 years. Uh, I enjoy the most doing life-size sculptures of people. And on the side, I do a lot of painting myself. This is my Mad Max <laughs> character, inspired by the movies. Now, this guy's missing a pin in his ear. <laughs> Mad Max. Mad Max. Well, I got serious doing the, during the 50 years, but it started well before that in my um, youth, uh, eight, nine, ten years old, when uh, the family would come over on the weekends and play cards, and I would walk around the table and sketch their faces, and I would get all kinds of uh, great vibrations from them, so they kind of uh, got me started. This is a, was a maquette of the idea of doing him 18 inches tall, uh, and without a base, it was just going to be a sample for the larger one I was going to do. But when people came into my studio and liked it so much, they wanted this size for their home, not something so big that it would dominate. So I never really got around to doing the life-size linen. And uh, I pursued this and had a mold made and refined it. And, uh, and then I built the bases and do the music and the pictures. Now the pictures come from a book of a friend that I met in New York City who was a, a very good friend of John Lennon's and followed him around and photographed him. So all these pictures are from that particular book uh, that I was able to put. Plus the music of his uh, famous song, Imagine, on his bass. So, as I said, I'm touching it up for a show and uh, it will be there. Jack Dowd is an amazing sculptor. In fact, we've sold dozens of his Andy pieces, lots of his lithographs and pastels. He's just an amazing, a quite different sculpture. In fact, I'll be honest with you, I only sell one sculpture to maybe every 100 paintings. So I'm really very limited as to who I choose to represent their sculptures in my gallery. And Jack Dowd is, is certainly the number one fellow that we represent. In the 60s, uh, when I was a school teacher, an art teacher, um, I met a guy who was doing chainsaw sculptures uh, on the street and I was uh, very interested in what he was doing. He was taking large uh, pieces of wood and cutting them down with a chainsaw. So um, as the years progressed, I got into doing what they call chainsaw art. And I would um, go out on the street with a big log and take my chainsaw and, and do a figure. Um, out of that. So that got me started with uh, the life-size figurative work that I now do, but much more detailed and much more um, uh, credible. I think that Jack Dowd is so hot in the art market for one simple reason. He represents true Americana. From Andy Warhol to the badass motorcycles to the old fellas standing outside their camper, Jack Dowd is the quintessential essence of the artist of America today. Uh, these uh, I love because I was able to incorporate my sketches, uh, my prior sketches, as you can see, of the different butlers that I've done. Uh, these are the maquettes, and uh, they also are sellable, so I decided to have them cast, my very favorite. This was another one I like, but this is the wine steward, and he's been very popular. One of the other interesting things about Jack Dowd is the reaction we get when people see his works. A good example is when they see Andy Warhol, life-size Andy, yellow or blue, 
What's amazing is that the people first think that they were done by Andy Warhol. But no, it's Jack Dowd who made these wonderful sculptures. And so we have to correct him on that. But it's wonderful because it just shows you that he can convey many other famous artists' feelings in his works. My work reflects the world I live in and the people that surround me. And I use that as my uh, inspiration. Uh, I, I walk around uh, Walmart or the streets of uh, Sarasota uh, or when I'm up in Vermont and I meet people and I see things and, and boom, uh, there, there's an idea. So it's out there and uh, I have nothing better to do than to re recreate what I see and, and the life I live. I encourage any artist who's getting started to get out on the street with their work. Uh, what A lot of my success stemmed from doing sidewalk art shows. Um, Coconut Grove, um, Fort Lauderdale, Miami Beach, uh, New York City, Central Park. I did all those shows. I met so many wonderful people, made so many great contacts, um, sold a lot of work on the street. This is back in the chains, between the chainsaw days and when I was coming to the more realistic work. Um, and it was just so much fun. Um, you meet other artists, you meet people that buy. And, uh, and at some point they're going to say, you need to be in a gallery, we need to represent you, and so on. So you have to start at the bottom, and I did. Good luck. To learn more, visit jackdowd.com and artavenueflorida.com.